go. All guns blazing, full out attack, all the infantry straight out the, the door from round one until it finishes. It's either going to be me or Wilder. And I can't anticipate it being myself. I've never had a better training camp than I've ever had. I'm in the best shape of my life. You know, all the usual bullshit that fighters say, yada, 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 yada. Great shape, best camp. You know the story, Bob. Uh, Once or twice, right? Oh, this is, this is actually true this time. Most of the times for me, I'm injury free, which is the most important thing. Really looking forward to it. Can't wait. I don't go in on 50s and 25s and 35s. I go in 100% and I give 100%. You never hear me making excuses about, oh, why I did this wrong or why why the fight was a bad fight or whatever, or why I got caught. Shit happens in boxing, Jeff, as you well know. You've been around it long enough to know that now. And you just got to do the best you can. And that's it. Get stuck in and hit him more times than he's hitting you. It ain't rocket science. Boxing <laughs> is very, very, very simple. You hit the opponent more times than he hits you. And you're probably going to win the fight. And that's how it works. But am I 100%? I'm a million percent. Look at me. I'm in fantastic shape. I'm as fit as a fiddle. I'm sparring 12 rounds. I've got the best sparring partners in the world. I'm absolutely ready. I'm ready today, tomorrow, and forever. I'll always be ready. And I'll never make excuses because that's not me. I get in. I do the best I can. Don't make any excuses. And get on with it. And that's it. When I beat Wilder, I'll be on to the next one, so on and so forth. It's never about the opponent. I don't care what they're going to do. I don't care what they bring to the ring. It's the Tyson Fury show until I hang them gloves up and then anybody else can take over what they want to do. But until that day, it's all about me. And the roadshow continues. All these years later, since 2008 to 2021, nearly 22, and I'm still undefeated and still talking this smack. Because there ain't a man out there born from his mother that can stop me or beat me. I haven't seen one yet anyway. Maybe he's not born. Or maybe he is, but he hasn't got the, the guts to come and fight me. But the one thing that I don't do is I never underestimate anybody. Whether he's the smallest man in the room or the fattest man in the room, I'll never underestimate him because I've been underestimated since birth. But yeah, I'm still here representing, still on top of the world. Deontay Wilder, make no mistake... This will be Deontay Wilder's make or break moment in his, in his life. Anybody can lose a fight. Anybody can have a bad night. Well, this is his make or break time. He's got nothing to lose. He's a three to one underdog. He's got everything to gain and nothing to lose. And everybody expects me to go in there and beat him down, which I will. But you can never write Deontay Wilder off because he's at his most dangerous now. And if I was like the rest of the world, then I'd underestimate Deontay Wilder. I think, ah, I beat the guy easy first time. Beat him even easy the second time. I'll take it easy. No. I've trained harder. I've sacrificed. I've been in training camp seven, eight weeks, sacrificing. No families, nothing. I've never had anything that George didn't cook me. I've never drank anything that George didn't put out for me. You know, I've trained hard twice a day, six, six days a week. I'm really, really ready and prepared. There's not one thing more that I could say, hands on heart, that I could possibly do to prepare any better for any fight. This is me. I'm at my peak. I'm at the best. The best Tyson Fury ever.